Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm starting a new series about my hometown Landwerf. I will show you around the town. But before I do that, I have to explain something for all of you. When you're a regular visitor of my channel, you will notice that I'm not usually in front of the camera. Well, I've changed the format a bit and that has a reason because I got two great advice of two great vloggers. One is Michael Freyer Jr. He is an American vlogger and has a daily live stream. And during one of his live streams, I was engaging with the people on the live stream and with Michael himself. I was uh, pleasantly surprised when he suddenly announced that he had visited my channel. I will show you the clip where he is talking about my channel during the live stream. Karen Summers lives in Holland. She does some really cool videos. There's not a lot of talking. And if I had one criticism, Karen, because I saw your subscriber video where you got 100 subscribers and you were so good on camera. So if I had one suggestion for you going forward, make sure you're on camera more. Be more of a personality, be a part of the show because people really want to see that. When I, was, uh, when I was filming the Travel Adventure Series Season 2, I learned a very hard lesson, very hard lesson. Um, there's lots and lots of beautiful waterfalls and amazing vistas and all this sort of stuff. And the simple fact is everybody says that they want to see the beautiful things in life. And the reality is that's not actually why they watch. And my viewers were okay, but my watch time was horrible. Nobody was watching the whole video because, well, I don't know, seven minutes of waterfalls just isn't apparently very exciting. So when I started to put myself in the videos and I was the focus of the videos and the waterfalls were just the beauty that was happening behind me with some really quick B-roll of the beauty of the waterfalls and stuff, the retention on the videos went way up so the lesson that I learned is people come to your channel to see you and if I had any suggestion Karen that would be it because you're really good on camera your 100 subscriber video was awesome but she does content of local events and local things like that and you guys could you guys should definitely go and check out Karen Summers she does a really really nice job when I saw this during the live stream I was pleasantly surprised but it left me with a dilemma there's a reason why I don't went in front of the camera because I'm very conscious of my pronunciation. As you can hear, I'm not English, I'm Dutch. And when, we, when I speak English, it's with a Dutch accent. I always knew that would I do a vlog or would I go in front of the camera, it would have been in English. So that was my dilemma. Well, the idea was born inside my head about should I go in front of the camera? But I wasn't totally convinced, so I thought, let's think about it. And the next day, I went to another live stream, and this time it was the live stream of vlogger Gina Walters. She is an English woman who lives in Australia, and she has an own YouTube channel also. And um, I love her f videos because she has a bubbly personality, so I watch it all the time. And. And one evening she had a live stream so I went to the live stream and all the people there were, were asking questions and she, she was answering. I told her my problem and I explained why it was difficult for me to make the decision to go in front of the camera and she had an answer for me also so let's watch that. So here we go Karen I'm struggling with my first front of the camera clip don't vlog all the time, just want little ones in a while beside my normal clip. So what are you struggling with, Karen? I want to know what you're struggling with. Are you struggling with you talking to the camera? Is that what you're struggling with? I'm going to come and look at your channel when I finish this live, because I'd like to see what you do normally. I want to know what you're struggling with, and maybe I can help you. Try oh, the pronunciation of your English. Right, okay. So I would ignore that and just do it anyway, because um, I met a guy at VidCon who was a vlogger and he had like 89,000 subscribers and his English was broken but yeah his personality was like shone through and I just loved him and I actually loved the fact that he didn't have perfect English I loved the fact he pronounced words a little bit odd um, because it kind of made him individual so my advice to you would be that's part of who you are I think it's freaking amazing that you can speak um, another another language because I couldn't do a vlog in French that's for sure 
So I think own it, go with it, it's pretty amazing. After hearing her reply, the idea of going in front of the camera became stronger. And there were a lot of other people on the live stream who commented and gave me positive feedback to just go out and try it and don't be afraid. So one evening, it was very hot, I decided to go outside. And I decided to take a walk and bring the camera with me and try some practicing of transitions and b-roll and just average things you do when you take your camera with you. And while I was doing that, I got the idea of why not make a series about my hometown, Landgraf? And while I'm doing that, why not do it in front of the camera? And that is what I'm going to do. So I start a new series, beside all the other items that I always will show, like the great events that happen here in the neighborhood, I will still uh, film them and edit them because I love the process of filming and editing, so I will keep doing that. But once in a while I will make a vlog about land grab. So the first one was a spur in the moment, so it's not very organized. I have to apologize for that, but I did my best. I will show you the city hall of Landgraf. I will show you uh, the mall of the camp because it is close to the city hall. And I will show you a monument of a Dutch writer who was born here in Landgraf, Frans Ehrens. And they made a monument on the place where his um, house used to be. So let's see the first vlog. I'm showing you a bit of my hometown Landgraf. Here's the town council just recently built, or should I say rebuilt. Um, it's called in our dialect Burgerhus, which translates as a house for the town members. So you have to come here for all legal stuff, for your driver's license or to get your passport, to get married. All those things, you have to come here. I hope you enjoyed it even though it was a bit random and not very organized as I explained why. But that is vlog number one. There will be more. But now I will close off but not before I thank Michael and Gina for the encouraging words and all the other members of the No Small Creator Group. You inspire me to do more than I'm used to do. 
So I leave you with a phrase that we always say here in our area. It's a dialect that we speak. And when we say goodbye to each other, we say a specific word that means goodbye and hope to see you again. So I will leave you with that phrase and hope to see you again. Adieu!